to the uh, Hadley CPA. Um, I hope people took the time to look over the proposals, and um, I thought we'd take them in reverse order of the last meeting. Uh, but some people aren't here, so we're going to have to see what happens to their proposals if they're not here. Um, okay, so should, uh, can we wait for the approval of the minutes until after the applicants have left? Good idea. Have left? Somewhere. Okay. Um, so the Friends of Lake Warner are not here. So we'll bypass them and hope that Peter comes eventually. Um, well, that's the same, same people. What is this? Shala. Shala. Okay, we'll do the Shala APR. Um, you guys want to say anything before we discuss it and go? Um, I'm with John Kukoski. Uh, I'm going to butter to that property. And uh, we'd like to see that property protected from any uh, anything other than agricultural use. Uh, there's a lot of APR land that abuts up to it. Some of it I own, some of it is uh, in Amherst that's owned by other farmers. And uh, we just think that uh, uh, the uh, best way to uh, keep that property intact uh, is to have it preserved. Um, uh, we can certainly use uh, a portion of that property in our operation. Uh, our farm at this point, uh, because the original farm was relatively small in size, APR limits you as to how much you can uh, build up or use for buildings uh, or cover with concrete for say feed storage or whatever. And we would about run out of that and uh, the proximity of this property would uh, avail us to uh, be able to put some feed storage or machinery buildings uh, on that property. So uh, uh, I think it's a valuable piece not only to us but to uh, the uh, whole agricultural community in that area. Okay, any comments? Well, I'll kind of re reiterate what I said at the last meeting. The fact is that when we passed the Community Preservation Act, <coughs> the primary selling point was to maintain open space slash agricultural land. And this is fits all the criteria of not only the town meeting vote, plus the CPR rules and regulations. Anyone else? Yeah, uh, is this a bridge, this is like a bridge loan to, you can get, what I found out, I've asked around a few things, a, a little bit, and I found out that some people say uh, Kestrel Trust can't do bridge loans. Is that true or is that just a bunch of bunk? Um, well, I'm, I'm Kristen DeBoer, I'm the director of Pastoral Land Trust. Um, I think what they're referring to is that a few years ago, <coughs> five, seven years ago, five years ago, I think the uh, the federal rules required uh, or, or stopped this <coughs> practice of, of land trust buying the APR and holding it until the state could pay us back. Um, but that's not what we're proposing here. So what we're proposing is. Um, the land is, is available for sale, and we've been negotiating with the landowner for, for many years, but we're getting very close to yes, I hope. Um, and so we're intending to buy the land and then protect it with the APR and then sell it to farmers. So it will remain in agriculture. Um, so, so the practice that we're proposing would not run up against that rule that you mentioned. Okay. And the thing is, we are, uh, Tom and Hadley is expected to pay a sizable sum of the total price. Is this going to be a trend that we're going to be expected to do in the future for other APRs? That can, you know, because right so. now, right now the Tom and Hadley's con contribution towards an APR <coughs> is somewhere around 10%. Am I correct? Well, yeah, but it, uh, it's, it hasn't been. 50% of what we doing in this area. I, in a moment, I'd like to say I think it's a wonderful idea, but I think that we actually be under a lot of pressure for development, and I think we need to do that here. But I'm also looking towards the future, and if the Department of Food and Ag says, no, 
well, you know, you paid 48% for this one. Now, here's another APR. So we're, instead of asking for 10% from the town, we're going to want you to pay 22% for something. And is, is that 22% going to turn into 25% and 30% and 20 I don't know. So the state typically requires 10 to 20 percent. The reason we're asking for 50 percent in this case is because it's a special circumstance where we need to move quickly and the federal rules are now, uh, the wait time is about three years. And so Kestrel can't afford to hold the property for three years to wait for the money to come in from the federal agency. So. Um, this is a 50-50% match, which is, in this circumstance, because it's one of the largest farms, it's very much at risk, and this would allow us to move forward more quickly. Um, so I don't think it sets a precedent. It's, it's an <coughs> unusual circumstance. Are you, are you saying that the 50-50 match is inspiring the state to move faster? Yes. Okay. In fact, they are ready to move this year, which is a, on a much faster rate than they would have otherwise. But the, uh, my, my concern is that I don't want this to affect future APRs for the town of Adley. I don't want to have the department say, well, you pay 50% for this APR. We're going to want you to pay 30% for the next APR. Welcome, welcome you know, to Massachusetts politics. They can change the rules anytime they want, and yeah, they yeah. usually do in anything. They have these unfunded mandates. There are so many things that they they cut back, cut back, cut back. Uh, the Quinville is a great example. You know, they used to fund the policemen for getting extra credits education. Now the towns have to okay. pick it up. That's just the way it is. Now that that was just my concern. One one of my concerns, and the other concern is as long as this goes through with the town of Amherst and the town of Hadley's portion gets. APRs, but then Amherst funding for that portion doesn't, and then what happens then? As long as both can mesh together, I don't have a problem with that. Um, well, I can say that the town of Amherst has already cons is, is in the process of considering their CPA. It's a much smaller value because it's probably only one house lot over there. Um, so it does, it's not going to make or break the project, and Kestrel is very much committed to conserving that for agricultural and conservation purposes because it's right All between up. two properties that, that we've helped conserve over the years. Okay, so that, um, so the Amherst parcel will go along with this one? Yes, that's our intention. Good, that's what... It, it, may, it may be at slightly different times, but it's our intention to protect it. Kudos to Kestrel Trust. The negotiations have been going on and on and on and on, and it, it really is your persistence that made this happen. It would be a totally different story if all of a sudden we found out there was a subdivision road going in from Cummins Road through the 172 acres and coming out on Shattuck Road with about, you know, maybe 50, 60, maybe 100 houses. I think, I think we'd run to the poles to, because you'd have to build a new school. So that's. Uh, no, I, I, those are my concerns. Well, I wasn't sure if you were arguing for it or against it. No, I'm in, fa I'm in favor <laughs> of the problem of, of the project. But these, I, I talked to a couple of people, and right, fifty percent of the people say it's a wonderful thing. Fifty percent say, oh boy, you're crazy. So you know that's Probably part hard. for the course. You know? Well, that's that's yeah, that's right. That's par for any anything. You get fifty yep. percent. One way, fifty well, percent the other. Way. Yeah, exactly. But <laughs> well, I, mean, no, I, those I appreciate are points what I brought yeah, up. I appreciate what you're saying, Edwin, and I appreciate what Joe said. Is that we don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, and today we need to deal with it. I know you're not arguing against it. Correct. But I, I think that whatever we have to do today to protect this, we have to do, and then they, if you look at uh, planning and zoning and such, they'll tell you there is no such thing as precedent. Yes, sir. So we, we always have the option to say no. So for this one, I think, I think we're all going to say yes, but no. And it's up to the, it's up to, uh, <coughs> the sponsor of the CPA project to sell this at town meeting. Because 
We are just an advisory committee. <laughs> we were told in no uncertain terms that we are just an advisory committee. So. Um, well, we're, we're, we're a little more than that. Mm. <laughs> we're a little more than an advisory committee. But, but we, in Hadley, we've decided that the committee won't sell the projects um, that the applicant will get. Funds, you know, and it, it is coming out of the general fund, or it's all in open space. Um, I don't believe there's any money left there's in any money in open space. But we'll we're we're not funding yes. half of it, just to clear up the in the audience. We're only funding what percent? Twenty-seven percent. Right. So APR is funding half of it. CPA, the Community Preservation Act, is funding twenty-seven percent. Then the transfer of development rights is funding the other portion. So there are three funding sources for the land. <coughs> Any other questions or comments by committee members? Um, so if I understand this right, we need to move quickly and can't wait for the federal reimbursement, which is the usual procedure. Might it be possible to apply for the federal reimbursement anyway and get it in three years, even if we, uh, you know, but they to, to reimburse us for the money we're spending right away? I don't think you can do that. You can't do that. Once you've spent money on a project, because there are, um, you know, it's an APR, we would have, they would have to, in a sense, sell or we would, how would we do that? If they were giving us money, we have no stake in the APR anymore mm -hmm. once it's been paid. So it's not, they're not a holding company. They're actually doing mm -hmm. the okay. job. All right. So. Mm -hmm. be nice if you can get reimbursed, but if it's not possible, we can't do it. Just got yeah. one, one editorial comment. Mm -hmm. Do you have any influence with the APR people, the Department of Ag Resources, to get rid of that option clause? <laughs> the option clause means that, I remember I was involved in when Dukakis was signing the bill for APR, and they <coughs> promised farmers that they would have the ability to sell that land. It's still their land. They can sell it for whatever they want. <coughs> Now, they've ratcheted it down that the state has the first option to buy it. If they don't like how much you get for it, they can <coughs> take that higher sale away from you and sell it to somebody else. Just look at it. Seattle's like, property. Like Seattle's property. And that, um, that's rubbing people a little bit the wrong way. So, but yeah, do you have any political call there? Uh, I understand why people are upset and we heard and, and made our case as well, but we, uh, because I don't, I'm not sure we have the power to turn there. Well, or mention it. We will. Yeah. All right. No other discussion. Do you want your call for a vote? So moved. <clears throat> Second. Okay. okay. So, what is your motion? I'm move that we. What are conditions? Okay, we're going to discuss that now. I move okay. that we accept this property under the APR provision uh, for Hadley to buy what one fourth of the asking price to spend one fourth of the asking price. I don't say one fourth because it's no. probably not exactly that. Right. So whatever uh, it is yeah. on the proposal will yeah, make okay. more sense. What's what does it say in the proposal? 29%. Um, the amount of funding requested from CPA was 210,000. Mm -hmm. Recommend, uh, if <coughs> I don't, you, you have the floor, I don't want to step on your toes. But if we could we recommend, recommend, yeah. uh, re recommend that town meeting uh, accept this request for funding from the CPA account for the amount of two two hundred ten thousand okay, now who for the Shala APR. And who was getting the money? Kestrel Trust, I believe. I that's the no, question. No, no, no. Who's getting the, the money? Well no, but no, who's the giving question. the money? Who is CPA giving the money to to yeah. give to the state? Yeah. Um, it it will be 
a similar kind of process on, as any APR closing, that the money will be requested at the time of the transaction at the real estate uh, closing. So, so it would go directly either to the farmer who owns the land or to Kestrel, who will then sell it to a farmer. So we have to work out that detail. But the, the bottom line is that the funding from CPA will go to fund the APR acquisition. Okay. But what we need to give it to us, we need to have a specific party responsible. So Kestrel interest. In ways of Kestrel interest. And should we put our normal caveat of you got we're, until the... We're getting to it. Oh, okay. Okay, so for Sorry. what is um, APR for property? Okay. And then the fund is going to be general because there's no money left in open space. Uh, yeah. 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 <coughs> And then uh, all these will have a two-year timeline. Okay, we need to put that in because we yeah. don't have that as general. Right. Yeah. So we have a motion yeah. and a second. They have to accept those conditions. Yeah. I agree. Is that okay? Yes, is that okay? You got two years to spend oh, on your or, or until the end of next year. And then if it looks like you're going to run out of time, you go to town meeting and request an extension. We hope to do it yeah. before the end. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. What was that, 2021? Yes. Yes. No. <coughs> yes. It's 19. 21 or 21? 21. 2180, yes. I think it was. 21 something. Well, we'll figure it out. Okay. So, Kestrel Land Trust, $210,000. APR for the, I'm sorry, what's the name? No. Shaw. Shaw Farm. Uh, from the general fund until 2021. That will be the one article. The details of the one article. Mm -hmm. You have that? I'm just making sure that you get so it all written down. Two years. <coughs> uh, well, to be done, because that should we, be. We don't. We don't have to write up the Warren articles right now. I can. Well, we have to. We have to so vote on the article and the Warren article. The actual Warren article. Yes, what we're going to put okay. in there. So I have right. that. To approve paying two hundred and ten thousand, uh, and to fund the APR option to Kestrel, funds come from the general fund, and we have two years to spend, or they will need to request an extension. And the recommendation to town meeting is to accept. Okay, I think, fund. I think we should put the I name of the property. Yeah. And the project. And this is conditional upon Jala accepting the. Uh, the proposal, correct? Yes. Oh, yeah, we should put that into it. <coughs> well, if he doesn't accept, then they're not going to spend the money. Right, we'll just well, the article doesn't say that. If, 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 if the <coughs> owner does not accept the proposal, then they're not going to spend the money because they they right. won't have a closing. So right. Right. it'll come back. Right. It'll it's come back to us. Uh, yes, yes, yes. trusts. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you want to read it to us? Uh, Okay, because I don't have it exactly worded, but it's moved to approve paying 210000 to fund the uh, Shala APR um, to the Kestrel Trust. And monies will go to the Kestrel Trust out of the general fund. Uh, there's two year time frame to spend the funds needed, or they would have to request an extension. And recommendation would be to town meeting to uh, we don't know the wording, know right? Would you guys, the wording just needs to be worked on. Recommend to town meeting to accept the recommendation, which is what was said. Do we have to say in this article from the CPA we don't have to have to our for motion. the CONCOM? What? It, because the $210,000 is coming from CPA with 75000 coming from the TDR and 75000 coming from the... Do we have to say that or is that a no, separate... No, no, no. Because no. okay. those will have to be... Those will be separate articles with uh, TDR, I believe, has to be approved by town meeting. And then the mm -hmm. CONSCOM... The Conservation Commission is the custodian right. of the transfer right. of development rights. And I, I assume someone from the Conservation Commission 
or Janice Stone will make that presentation. Uh, may I just suggest that the, the Hadley Conservation Commission is included in Somewhere the in there. somehow because we're partnering with them to Correct. protect the yeah. land. So, it, you know, if there's a co hold, usually the town is a co holder on an APR. So, would, in this case, be, would the town be like a co signer for lack of a better term? Yes, so later you're voting on the new ball APR, so it's very similar to that, and that you, the town has a co holding interest in the APR document. One change I would suggest. Well, this is isn't final wording. I mean, we're right. trying to. Uh, two years to spend the funding, or it reverts back to the general fund instead of needs a request. Well, it reverts back to the CPA. We want it. We want the right. article Make to sure say that it reverts which back fund. automatically <laughs> to the to the general fund, so that doesn't have unless to be they vote. unless they re request an an extension. Right. But we don't have to say unless they mm -hmm. do this. They'll just come to us and get the extension. And then but the well, they still have to get for it. Yeah, the town meeting will have to yeah. vote the yeah. extension. They mean CPA. But yeah. not the general fund because that could be construed as it, yeah. exactly it's right in uh, the CPA general fund. No, that's that's yeah. that's, yeah. Thank you. that's right. Good point. Yes. That is just what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> what is a long motion? Well, last time I did this work. Yeah. yeah, I think so if we get it close enough to what <coughs> what the intent is, and you can fine tune it. Right. No, I think that's the problem. Yeah, done by it has to be put in the yeah. yeah. They will do that. Yeah, they'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. We've never done this we before. Can. We've never nitpicked like this that I remember. <laughs> well, we well, always it's, had it's, simple well, it's, APR. It's, it's, well, it's, 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 it's important no to say, than any other. you know, who's responsible for the money, how much they're getting, what it's for. Well, that is important. Right, I understand that, but I'm saying we don't have to draft it to the nth degree tonight. I think we get the main points in there, and then we'll go from there. Okay. So, so mm -hmm. I have a motion and a second. Uh, well, we, motion already and had, a second. we already had one. So, any more discussion on the draft warrant article? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. No, one. I have to abstain. He has to abstain. Due to the fact that I did survey work right. on that property, okay. I just want to take a step back. Eight zero one. Eight, yes. Correct. Okay, one down. Okay, should we do um I'm talking about APR the Nibala next? Might as well. The yeah. Okay. 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 Um, no, but I'm happy to be here if you have questions. Is the property going to be cleaned up in depth? It's 95 percent cleaned up now. Okay, that's one of the stipulations, as I remember. Yeah. Right. It has to be cleaned up, or they will not give them. Right, I know, but I just wondered if we could just emphasize it. And gotcha. once again, I kind of give the same speech. This is preserving agricultural land, and this is happens occasionally when you have a few kids in the family. One wants the farm, but the other wants the money. So this is an appropriate way for resolving their family issues as well as preserving agricultural land for the town of Hadley. Right, and this land abuts the Fort River and is in the Callahan Well Aquifer area. Aquifer area. area. So we've got a couple of more good points mm -hmm. for protecting it. Great. You want to just copy this one and paste it and change the names? Good, but you're going to change amounts too, right? Yep. Yep. How much is this one? Eighty-three zero nine one. Eighty-three zero nine one. That's a strange amount. That's a piece of property. I was talking to them on for the uh, new school. Library and, and uh, what's the amount? Fire department eight three zero nine one. The uh, property that the the bottoms have there they were running like grabbing that stuff and on him. Okay. They said then they'll be put on. Do you uh, 
Do I hear a motion? To, for, I, to I vote? Move, I move that we recommend to town meeting the amount of 83091 from the CPA general fund for the purpose of buying an APR or financing an APR. Whatever. Uh, purchasing an APR. Purchasing. Yeah, purchasing an APR from the Nidbala, uh of the Nidbala property at off of E Street. Second that. <coughs> and we can put the same thing for timelines. Mm -hmm. Now this one is money going through Castro? No. So we have to. Well, I don't know who the. Um, the bomb. Yeah, but uh, right. is that how do we know? How do we know? Peter and well, the Conservation Commission right. is the really commission. the custodian. Right. Okay. okay. So. Okay. We'll just give it to them next. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, do I go for <laughs> Look those car shop. <laughs> Good pile down there. I bet. I bet. Okay. All right, you want to read it to us? No. <laughs> okay, let us know when you want I, to read it to us. I, I just cut and paste, so that's okay. choppy too. To it's approve right. 83,091 um, to fund the APR option. With the conservation to the conservation commission for purchase of the Nibala APR um, funds would be from the general fund, and they would have two years to spend, or it reverts back to the general fund of the CPA. And to recommend to town meeting. Recommend to tell me. Yeah, you've got to recommend to tell me. Yeah, right. Okay. I just, yeah. I just don't like the wording. But. Yeah. And then just cut off this point. Okay. All right, did everybody get that? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so moved. Yeah. 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 Y
anybody really knows, but quite honestly, he's been maintaining that property, as he said, since he was a little kid. So there's there's little doubt in our mind, but but there's really nothing that shows it definitively, which is apparently what the uh, surveyor ran into when he surveyed it years ago, um, that there's just really not a lot of accurate record keeping on that piece of land. Any other questions? Or? I was talking to somebody about this, uh, about the irrigation system, and they asked if there was any possible that it could be a gray water system or a recycled water system instead of using town water. Uh, it won't be using town water, actually, although the estimates that we have take that into play. There is a well in the fields at that location, so they would be actually accessing the water from the well. Anything else? On this one? Uh, do you want this a motion for a vote? I'm going to abstain from this one as well. You're a busy guy. <laughs> okay, well, I have a motion that we accept the proposal as submitted for the amounts submitted. Uh, I'll just skip over that one because I don't know that. $185,000 from the general fund, I believe? Yeah, yeah. $185,000. Okay, to the Abbey Board of Education. Who's the... Uh, is that cool? Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, who is the person on the application? Because that's who's applied for. Well, this is towards the tourist 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 field improvement. Uh, Hadley school, school Committee, School Department. Okay, so um, it's Hadley school, school Committee. Hadley School Committee. Okay. Project sponsor or slash organization, Hadley School Committee slash School Department. Is that an actual thing? Hmm? The school, school committee. School Committee? Yeah. Yeah, Zoom. Okay. Yes, right. it is. Mm -hmm. You can get elected to it. <laughs> Good enough for me. <laughs> okay, so it's 185000 from the general fund to the Hadley. School committee slash mm -hmm. school department mm -hmm. for, for field improvements or playing fields. Phase no, this field is phase one, right? Phase one. This is field improvements. Phase one. Phase one. one. Right. As proposed. And Hopkins Academy. So has phase one been started at all? No. Yeah. No. Where? Other than design work, no. Yeah. There's been no. Right. So, because this isn't an APR, um, they propose matching funds, and how are we going to incorporate that into there? Right? This is how much they've gotten. And they're going to stop the votes. The, I don't think that matters, Paulette because they've said that it's going to cost them X amount of dollars. They're asking us for okay. whatever, and they're supposed to come up with the rest. So mm -hmm. if they don't pull their weight, then that's for them to figure out how to deal with it. Right. We usually say, use your money before our money, so that you don't come back and say, we didn't make the money, so are we going to do that? Or can we Somehow we can put that in the incorporate well, that's the proposal, to, yeah, yeah, whatever you know, okay. for their proposal, um, so you don't have to get okay. caught up in all the numbers. Okay, general. Yeah. Good, good point. Per most towns, by the way, have the com CPA committee signs a contract with the applicant after the money is approved. Where all these details are spelled out. Right. Mm -hmm. But we don't do that because. I do enough work on this committee as it is. Well, most of those towns have staff, right. like a full-time yeah. staff. Yeah. So yeah. part-time, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That would staff multiple boards. <coughs> um, what's the date? Can you guys tell me what the date on that proposal was? This is yes. well, December 18th. Well, it just says December 18th, 2018. 2018. Okay. Right. Yep, that was when the proposal was yep. well, that's submitted. Yep. I just want it to be dated. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so 185000 from the general fund to the Hadley School Committee slash school department for phase one of field improvements at Hopkins Academy, I'll say. <coughs> 
do we have to say about the per initial the, for 400,000? No. no. Per the proposal dated um, December 12, 1818. Correct. Mm -hmm. Total project, I don't know if you want to put total project costs aside. I don't think that should be in the motion. Mm -hmm. No, that, that's for their, when they Just talk the, about um, everything. Just put the, the give back date. Mm -hmm. Okay. And money must be used by the yeah. within two years or yeah. um, returned to the general fund <coughs> of the CPA. Right. <coughs> and do we read it again or are we ready to vote? Right. You get a rough idea. Vote. All mm -hmm. in favor? Who was wait a minute, Whoops. who was the second? I had a motion. I second. didn't hear who seconded. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know if somebody else had. So. No. I, okay. I don't know if anybody did. Okay. okay. Now. Now. Yeah. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? It's yeah. One abstention. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, All right. I was, Good luck in town meeting. Want to yes. I'm saving that. Yeah, get those, get, get, get those kids to come to the town meeting and talk. Great. Right. Right. Okay, don't give you. Uh, what are we up to there? The Dirt and Park? What's the total amount, given the money we're spending, to the total amount of rehabbing Zaturka Park? It says here $213,000 and $233,000. $213,000. Yeah. What contribution has been made by the people that proposed they were going to fund roughly 20 to 25 percent of this? Have we any figures? Have you any figures? Well, that uh, I think as we we talked about this the last time, Joe. That was the, uh, the we did yes, the and it was part. you said they worked part in, in kind, they, but there was uh, nowhere near came to the estimate. Though they're going to get Lowe's and Home Depot and the banks were all going to contribute. So was was there a follow up on that from there, the? I mean, the the commission has put in twenty thousand dollars up front, and then another twenty five. Uh, well, that. But as far as the friends, uh, again, it was mostly in-kind donations, uh, from primarily from the uh, design firm, uh, Berkshire Design. No, there was no neighbors. No amount. The yeah, the as, as far as like we, we talked about, as far as the eighty-eight signatories that started this and got, you know, a lot of uh, ground support from. Of a variety of different organizations, including the select board. Um, right now, the uh, that uh, that group is pretty much gone, and you know, looking to solicit more uh, involvement from those folks. Those uh, what board party. What has not been done that you need the extra money for? So, um, as we talked about before, what has not been done is the paving. The paving part was pulled out. Uh, this past fall because of the um, the obstacles that we encountered um, during the construction. So monies were diverted from other parts of the project as well. Huh? Yeah. Well, there was, uh, it, when you say to divert it from other part of the project, that means somebody is not overseeing this. You can't take something okay. from what was for landscaping, oh, we used it up, so now we got to ask for more. Somebody did make an accurate estimate in the first place, and 
we were we gave the money for an accurate estimate and they came in with an estimate now it keeps going up and up and well that never happens with projects Joe right they, they, you always have a contingency well for unforeseen circumstances and I believe there were unforeseen circumstances based oh. on where the stumps were actually found versus where people had thought they would be. Well, they did test for it. That, right. that, and so this was. This if was I have had any objections on the CPA committee, I bet this is the biggest one. Right. Everybody in town knew the stumps were there. And what was the big discovery all of a sudden? Right. That, I agree with you 100%. We, we knocked that around and said, why are you doing this and why are they doing that? Well, but where they thought the stumps were, where everybody was saying the stumps were, they did borings and they didn't run into them. It was in another well, Somebody location. screwed up on Correct the boring because I, uh, well, I used to practically live across the street there. So. Were you there and show them, come up, go, did you ever go out to the site and say, here is where the trees are so they could do borings? It was where the ball field was and a little further back. I mean, that's the only place you could put the stumps. Well, there were also speculation uh, that they're getting in the project of, you know, buried uh, um, chemical cans drums, and 55-gallon right. drums of oil. And that was, uh, you know, never discovered in that area. It was, was dredged up fairly heavily. It was a dump. But they didn't find... They found an actual thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that when you get good news from the engineer, you don't question it. Oh. You know, the engineer yeah, right. says, no, the problem isn't there. You don't say, oh, yes, it is. And we're going to keep <laughs> digging and harrowing the whole place until we find it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, this is, this is the committee that came before us because they didn't want a house there. So, uh, okay, they wanted the park. They're pretty much their private park. And all of a sudden, it's been taken over by a new committee, the rec department. So. I'm picking on you a little bit, but it, you sh it should <laughs> be your, your total little, flat. Just a little bit. And ultimately, <laughs> I've said my piece. I mean, and it, it is. And I, I agree with Amy. We got to fund it to finish it. It is a neighborhood park, and and, and you know certainly there, uh, you know, at the time this park was started, there weren't necessarily other options that were available for parks in town. It was the one remaining park that we have in town. It still, is the one official park that we have and so um, you know to some extent improving that park um, was with CPA money as well as local efforts uh, seemed like a good idea at the time. It seemed like in the beginning almost like the park and rec said you know what just sell it. I mean, they didn't want anything to do with it. It was the friends that really pushed it along. That's correct. Yeah. Right mm -hmm. and now it's on your lap back. You got it back. So, yeah. But so that's, that the plan was that once it was developed, the town would take over the maintenance of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So we're at the, we've got what, 80%, 90% developed? So where, where it's all the uh, walking trails and all the uh, pavilions and well, baseball I think that's fields part of the and paving, tennis right? fields and stuff that are supposed to be in there. I don't think any baseball field. Well, there was no never a proposal field. for tennis uh, or, um, you know, pavilion was always something that would be potentially added on to, in the future. It's mostly play, right. playground and passive recreation walking fields and, and a hiking trail along the top. You know, there's always going to be complaints whenever <coughs> a project has problems or delays. But the only other option is to really waste all the money you spent so far and not finish it, right. Right. or finish it. Right. I think I think we're at the point of no return, meaning well, we, I, can, we I, need to finish. I, and all this stuff that I'm hearing tonight should have come out it, two years ago or whenever before the project started. Okay. Well, well we, not enough apparently because well, it. Uh, when we raised the objections in the beginning, and the presenter had some emotional ties to it and there were going to be concerts there and everything so uh, that had a lot to do with it as well so but okay I've said that piece but I think we you're right Randy we are the custodians we have to do the questioning at the town meeting it's almost too late mm -hmm. 
this is our job. But, and, and I appreciate the, you know, the inquiry. It just mm -hmm. hopefully we address them at some point so that we, you know, we, um, we can continue to uh, address them. But it's, a, you know, hindsight is always twenty twenty, And, uh, you know, if they had known where those stumps were up front, they would have probably saved some money. Well, I want to thank you and Park and Rec for picking the ball up and uh, carrying this over the goal line. And uh, I think it's going to be good for the community and that people will come from town to use it and see it. Um, I just hope that you don't come back for a fourth time. <laughs> okay, do we have a motion in a second? I'll make a motion to accept mm -hmm. the proposal. I'll second. Okay. $32,000. That's what the proposal is, yeah. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. To Hadley Park and Rec. Is mm -hmm. that who, uh, Andy, Andy, what does it say on the, is Park and Rec? Uh, there you go. Yeah. Park and Rec is. Not Hadley Park and Recreation Department. Okay. And we want to say finishing the Turka Park, or do you want to be more specific? Hmm. I would put the uh, word finishing in, but that's well, just my This is for we can say basically the paving. Paving? Yeah. No, just say paving. We have paving and a basketball. Proposed an application on yeah. the Turkle Park. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a fair way to put it. How much? That's 32. all that's going to be done? Paving? It's all, a half a court. So it's not even going to be. Well, a plus. With the parking, some, some of the wall uh, part it's of the all right here, Joe. It's all a basketball But it's parking right now. Right now, it's going to be um, like just the and there's a seat the, 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 the lower level. Uh, 1919. Thank you. And from the general fund, we can't play that one. Oh, this is from the general fund. Um, yep. We're all out of open space recreation. Yeah, we the application says open space. Well, yeah. oh, I'm sorry, wrong, wrong one. I'm looking at a different one. I'm sorry. Uh, the application says a recreation. Right. So I don't know What's how much is in that. Account. Open space slash recreation is the same fund. Okay. And that's normally where it would come from. Right, you're but right. Those yeah. funds are gone. We had to expend so that. So we, we have to, yes. So it's got to come out of general fund. Well, you can you can vote against it. And then this we're going to have still the two years. Yes, correct. Okay. I think that's true. we should I'll, I'll always put the time mm -hmm. limit on. That's a problem. Yeah. That yeah. Keep yeah. Yeah. So should we well, this way we don't have to have a town meeting to vote to accept the money back. So it saves saves a vote. Right. Some towns don't go to town meeting to take money back. They just have the committee vote. But they say whatever your town does, they just have to do it. Right. Mm -hmm. no, we want it to us. That's right. Town meeting has to be the, vote the to official to money from her. one right. Run account bank account to another. Right. 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 Yeah. Maybe we'll change that someday. Yeah. All right, you want Okay, so we have a motion for to have thirty-two thousand from the general fund uh, to the town of Hadley Recreation Department for work as proposed on the application, dated one nine nineteen, um, and I'm going to say at Zaturka Park. Mm -hmm. And I think you just make sure it says Park and Recreation Department, okay. please. Yep. Okay, that's a terrific park. Funds to be expended um, within two years, if not spent, yeah. return to the general fund of the CPA. Okay. <coughs> Any other comments on the direct article? Shall we vote? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> one, one opposed.
Yeah, you don't have to vote for them if you don't. Yeah. You like them or you don't agree with them or you don't need a reason. It's out, of, it's out of Prince the first time when they come up with that nice big yeah. pictures. And you just look at that and look at the lane and you say, no way or hell this is going to go there. And it hasn't. I got high at all the time with that look. No way they're going to put that in the way they have drawn up the prints. So it's like a certain master. I just don't think. There, and if they do make it a part, it's not going to be enough there for anybody to utilize it. But the big, property. the big thing that in, and Joe, you should know this, in planning, is not to make destination parks. It's to make neighborhood parks, to bring people back out on the streets, back into their neighborhoods, so that people get to know each other. So if there's a, uh, in a sense, and in cities, they have pocket parks all over the place, small parks, yeah. which are meant for the area. Yeah, well, we're, we're, not, we're, we're not a big city, and we don't have small parks. And if we did, it would be nice, but this one here is going to be just a place for what? A dogs to shit in. Well, it. not necessarily. Well, that, that, I, that, that, I that as a dog right. owner, am responsible, and we pick up our, our dogs. There stuff. are a lot of people that do. Mm -hmm. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Okay. We just need to let it be. I would yep. like to continue this, okay. account, this discussion with town meeting, if you don't mind. Okay. Because we already voted. Yep. <laughs> Next. Right. Uh, okay, well, this brings us to a bit of a dilemma. The chloroform monitoring. Because there are no friends of Lake Warner here to present their Do they need due to proposals. Be? Well, that's what I'm asking. We, we already had it presented. No, we, they don't need to be here, okay. in my opinion. No, they knew, knew that we were going to. We, we know what they're asking for. Yeah, right. okay. They presented, so. Let's do the, um, the water testing first. Mm -hmm. Yes. Chloroform testing. Is that it? Yep. Chloroform. Chloroform. Chloroform is what knocks you out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Who's going to go home and do this? Right. And how much do you want for that one? Eight hundred ten dollars. <laughs> Eight hundred ten dollars is a amount, but they are putting in nothing. He's right. doing it himself. Because uh, okay. it was going to be picked up down the road, that this was one testing that needed to be done, and then they're going for budgeting uh, to that the water department, in the future. Mm -hmm. because this is a public recreation area, was going to pick up that, and they should, okay. because uh, they test in other uh, locations around the, the community. sponsoring agent. It's yeah. state law. So anywhere we have a public boat ramp, yeah. that should the town should have been testing that water all along. So that's so that's why it needs to be tested. And then there was no money in the budget this year, <coughs> so they've my if I'm remembering correctly, the uh, it was going to be incorporated into a town budget, the water department, because they do all the testing. Is that right? <laughs> I didn't remember. Didn't hear about that yet. Oh. Well, no, that's what he was saying. That's what he said. Right. Yeah, but I mean, I haven't heard it from anybody but, else. Um, even if they, I mean, yeah. a test like that with yeah. the thousands of dollars the water department spends on water I mean, testing. I don't know if it's the water department or the Board of Health or where it comes from. Well, some, some yeah. town entity right. needs to pay for it. Whatever that might be. Well, Doesn't the application was from the Friends of Lake Warner mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. And so this, the request that is being asked for now is just for one test. Right. One, one, year. One, one year. One year. One year. Because it says yeah. multiple tests. Yeah. Yes. $810. Mm -hmm. Correct. So they can have that nice ramp there and put their boats in. Canoe up that nice clean pond all the way up there. Uh, you gotta get you mass in there in all the shopping centers. Don't uh, don't don't knock you try it. <laughs> is this an okay use for now. CPA funds? That's uh, yeah, we've done it before. It doesn't mean it was right though before. <coughs> That's all I'm asking. 
it, it doesn't mean it was right before well, when we it's, it's an approved use. Okay. Right. That's all right. Yeah. 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 So we, we check that out last time. As to whether we want to do it or not, that's another question. Right. Right. Compared to what we've spent, yeah. personally, yeah. I don't think eight hundred and ten dollars is something to really and I think the reality of it is it doesn't get done and somebody gets goes in the pond and gets sick, they're going to sue the town, town because yeah, they right. don't do the their homework. The town doesn't own it. But it's public, the ramp, public the town owns rate. the ramp. So it's a, we don't own the water, an attractive we own the nuisance. Good, You are a good it lawyer if you get that one. It is an attractive nuisance. <laughs> so I don't see how they're going to... You know how it, it, in this day and age, twenty twenty something bucks. I think he says twenty six dollars. Yeah. He was going to wade right into like the water. Water. Take a sample right there. I'm going to I'm gonna vote for it, but this is a perfect example of the oh, camel's know. nose got in the tent, and they promised, "Oh, we just want the dam repaired. Anything beyond that, we will not come back to you." I said. Uh, you watch it. So, I mean, it's eight hundred dollars. You're right. It's, and I would vote for it. Well, if if the, the town truly is responsible for it, which seems to be the case, then somehow it's got to get paid for. It's getting paid for out of town funds, even though it's CPA funds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so it makes sense to me to get it done. It also makes sense to me that they somehow get this on next year's budget, so that it's incorporated with everything else that. The town tests for water. Mm -hmm. And they haven't done it. He said they haven't done it in the past because no one really thought they had to do it. They were testing all over the North Hadley Pond because they were right. asking but permission. But that wasn't for health and safety reasons. Yes, it was. No, That's that what was. They were asking for uh, they in, were, in the brook or the pond. They were trying to and get an assessment of what's coming in causing the growth in the pond, not for the safety of the people <laughs> using the pond. I, I think it was if you, if you dive in okay. that, I think I was, we go out in there for keys and we go in there for a motor and you come up and just take your gear and set it down there and you get smell like terrible smell. Yeah. I, no doubt. There was that that has been an issue for the last seventy years. <coughs> Well, the, when they put the pipe in from the university, uh, <coughs> they were going to that nutrient. They pipe. were going to clean up the pond. That was a, uh, a deal between Hadley and, and Amherst, the university, that they would clean the pond with all the crap that's in there because they were. Using when was that. that? And where is it written? Because UMass is coming to the conservation commission. Well, that was. Well, that was if we have documentation of that, that was when they're they, coming for uh, uh, overall maintenance permit of all of their paved parking facilities before the conservation commission. That's that's when they they were building the sewer plant and uh, uh, there, they, they were using the right. That's, that's the issue. That's, if there's that's something that's in that. writing, we it can point to it. In the the nine years. Like years ago. If it, it was, was a common handshake. knowledge, I mean, they just. Like the stump dump. They, it, it, like the stump dump, exactly where I was right. going, Amy. They, it, it, uh, it, there was an overflow. It, the overflow used to go into the Mill River. And all the uh, untreated, most of it was untreated, went into the, into the Mill River and into the North Abbey North Pond. Mm -hmm. They realized the error of their ways. Then they put in the overflow to go down Stockbridge Street and directly into the Connecticut River, such That's that right. the pipe went across to the channel of the Connecticut River, so you can't see what's being discharged there. So yeah. that was the yeah. correction. Well, that was when they built that pipeline and put it in there. Jenny Mitch and I were the divers that were down there putting the stones in the right places in the outfall line, yeah. and then they were supposed to the university. It was going to treat, uh, treat the uh, pond and clean it up for giving them the, the uh, property to run the uh, okay. pipe down. All right. 
there, that's, that well, makes if, sense. If that, if there's find that document, Willie. Yeah, they're, they're not going to do it. Find that document, Willie. Mm -hmm. They're not going to do it. No. No. Okay, do we, do we have a motion and a second? Yeah. We do not have a motion or a second. All right, we're all calling for a motion. I move to approve eight hundred and what ten dollars uh, uh, to to, friends of Lake to, Warner. Uh, to the friends of Lake Warner to test the water during this calendar year. Chloroform testing. For part we apply it for chloroform. Right. I'll second that if that's okay. Do we want to say it's got to be posted publicly, or that's what the plan was? What do you mean? Um, I don't think we should require, I mean. Okay. That's what it's for. Yeah, that's what, that's it, what yeah. it's for. It's got to abide by all the things. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. If anything, this, the easiest way to do this is just look at their proposal, and if there's information on there that's going to be what they're proposing to do, just mm -hmm. refer to the proposal so we don't have to reiterate it and mm -hmm. potentially get it wrong. That makes the most sense. Uh, you, you have a date on that proposal? Uh, the 28th, 29th of December. December last year. 2018. The vote is taken today. Right, well, but I'm saying per the application. Application dated. The application dated on this because if they come in with another one, we can re right. we're not voting on that other one. And so, if we make sure that their application is filled out fully, then we just refer to the application and then we don't have to make a big long. And motion. this is coming out of the general fund? Yes. CPA general fund. Yes. CPA general fund. <laughs> University of Massachusetts no. General Fund. Don't do that. Yeah. Well, yeah, we could, we could put it. We could put it, but whether, whether it makes it past the uh, eyes, it's not going to happen. Do you want to see this money disappear? Just say, <laughs> give it to the town for the general fund. Right. That's so, I'm sucking, so. <laughs> I will second just to move this along. No, oh, Edwin already did. I, I oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was writing. Okay. Yeah. So eight hundred and ten thousand from the state. No, eight hundred and ten thousand. Eight hundred and ten. Well, I'm so used to saying thousands. You are. Whoa. Eight hundred and ten. <laughs> it's written eight hundred and ten okay. from the CPA general fund. Oh, come on. What's a few thousand? Come on. No, no. Eight hundred and ten dollars from CPA. No. I don't care. From CPA general fund. They can come down and watch. Uh, CPA general fund to friends of Lake Warner for. Coliform testing per the application dated 12 29 um, Funds not expended within two years will be returned to general CPA, CPA general, fund. general fund. Okay, do we want to say the vote ramp at Lake Warner or the vote ramp at North Adley Pond? No, because it's per the, say it in the application. Per the application. Right, per the application. And this testing is going to be done by Tom Hadley? No. No, this guy. No, it cannot be Tom. It cannot Peter. be done. It has to be done by a certified lab. Right. So they'll, they're going to pick it up. They're going to go to Greenfield. Greenfield is where they're testing it. And if it is, <coughs> has a high count, they're going to post it. So we'll find out about it. When it's posted. Mm -hmm. When it's posted. By, yeah. by the friends of. And you have to go with a sealed container, and you can't yeah. go up to your, you can't use a baby food container. We have to right. go through this scene. Yeah, you Stop. have to get a <laughs> sterile jar, test it. Yeah. And there's a, there's a product in the jar that will turn the sample of color. If you go to the tap and turn it on and take tap water and, and say, that's my sample. Mm -hmm. You have to take it from this one. That's like the whistleblower. Yeah. Not that you'd ever do that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm told. All right. So we have a motion in a second. We've read the motion. Let's vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. You know Eight. Okay. One abstention. Because he's. Who's oh, he's out in the hall. And he's. Oh, oh, he's abstained. Abstention. Oh, I see. He's not because he's not here right now. One in the <laughs> no, I think he's 
kind of chatty. Okay, the next Friends of Lake Warner proposal, um, I spoke to Peter about this one. He told me two things. He said that they need more money. Peter is the applicant. Yes. How can he because all of a sudden because decide to need more money? <laughs> okay. I'll tell, I'll, I'll because explain. we wanted it redesigned. Okay. Uh, first of all, there's a $400 application fee, which was not oh. included in the original proposal. To the Conservation Commission. Right. It says one. You charge $400 for a couple of planks? You guys are. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, you. We don't get it. We only get half. <laughs> the second reason was that the committee suggested that he use better materials. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, it's going to be more money. So, uh, I, but unfortunately, I forgot to print out the, the new proposal, but I think I sent it to people. I thought I printed it out. I yeah, I'm, never seen I'm it. sorry. I've, I've what, been that, that, that over that place. I went in the last week just to see what it's like. And it hasn't changed in 60 years. The water is still there where it was when the, the dam was elevated. I don't know who, where are you going to walk to? You've got to turn around and come back. Otherwise, you've got to go back to uh, Zasky's property, somebody else's property. To stand and just look at the old bridge and come back, there's nothing to see. Well, I think, I, I, mean, I, I don't know if I'm in favor of this or not, but I think the purpose of it was to protect the soils around the pond, is that correct, well, Paulette? The the, to protect the wetland vegetation because people are tromping through there and they are this way. If you have an elevated walkway, people can walk and not destroy the vegetation. I don't, Where? there's no reason to walk there. And somebody will occasionally probably try to go fishing yeah, there, but there's, there's, there's there. There's that, that road that goes. It's no the destination. Yeah. Oh. Right there. But okay. well, I, I will say, my dog and us, we love that location. He goes down there. All, he brings us down there all the time because there's lots of wildlife in there. And yeah. he well, you don't go. Out. I bet you don't go to the old bridge. I haven't. My yeah. mom and his brother have. They've gone out way in there. It's. Yeah. There's some good duck hunting. It's really wet. <laughs> good duck hunting. <laughs> I mean, this is another pet project for a person. And I hate to sound like I'm picking on Peter. He's a well-intentioned man, but I, I don't know. I just don't see spending that kind of money for uh, well, What's the revised amount? Uh, I thought it was fifteen hundred something. Yeah, I thought so. So I what was remember. the original pr project cost? Seven, seven, seven eighty-six. It's not that big enough. So it's twice as much. So it's it's. I know I printed it out. You can't even run a snowmobile over it. You know, I've driven by that place and I've seen cars, I've seen like four, five, mm -hmm. six cars parked there with people going back there. What they do back there, I have well, no idea. Well, Edwin, have you? You know what it's like? Party, you go down that road. No, that's the house. I've only been there yeah. once in my entire <laughs> life. You're kidding me. <laughs> once in my entire life. Where did you grow up? I worked all the time. I was oh, okay. since I was 12 years old. <laughs> so I wasn't. That? You go down that around. road, there's a big <laughs> kind of a. I found it. It's $1,516.70. $1,516.70. $1,516.70 due to permit cost and improved materials. Thank you. <clears throat> now, this is... Uh, There's a big cul-de-sac here, so you can turn around and come back. That's where people do it. And there are three places you can fish off that cul-de-sac. If you want to go to the old bridge, and that's where Peter is calling the peninsula, <clears throat> that's... Uh, nobody... Nobody... They don't, you don't duck hunt there because it's it's only about from here to the wall. That's what the guys do. Yeah. You, you duck hunt a little further yeah. upstream. That's where everybody duck hunts. I don't even know where it is. I've only been in, the, yeah. in Hadley 57 years. So I don't. Well, I think Jimmy, Joe says it's, it's someone's pet project. Now, is that 
really what it is or is it beneficial? And I don't know the answer to that. It was a mixed, a mixed vote even with the friends, he says. If, if it's beneficial to, and Paulette, you would know better than anyone here, uh, I'm asking not for your personal opinion, but right. a professional opinion as to mm -hmm. what he's proposing. Does it truly, will it truly help the environment there? Well, basically what it comes down to is anywhere you have public property, where the public is invited to go and you have people walking through wetland areas, that's destruction of materials. The Conservation Commission always wants it to be, and the state law requires you to have an area that if people are going to be walking, they're not trampling vegetation. So basically this brings it into, if we're going to encourage people whether it's five people or 500 people going in there, there should be an adequate walkway or place for them so that you're not destroying the wetland vegetation. Does Give, the, is the foot traffic more Given that than argument, the nobody, than nobody's going to go. Does the installation of the, of, the foot, of the structure cause more damage than the foot traffic? Over time, no. Because the when you put something in and it's elevated, you've got enough light going through there so you have vegetation and you're not compacting the ground so that nothing can grow. I mean, think of any bike trail through the woods mm -hmm. or any hiking trail. What happens to the trail itself? You see the trail, you know where it is because it's been trampled. compacted, trampled on. So no vegetation can grow. And that's not the point of the Wetlands Protection Act if you're bringing people into areas, just like down at the, the Fort River, the Conti, the refuge down there, they had to install elevated areas that went through wetlands even though it wasn't wet all year round because the vegetation is there, the soils are there, and that's the, the key. Well, I'm, I am concerned just from uh, the, the, uh, the structure that was proposed and the longevity of that. I mean, two by, 12, two by 12s on the flat is not a very... It's going to be pressure treated. He well, changed the materials. It's a whole different ball game of what it's bringing to the environment. Yes. But even two by 12 on the flat, even though the pressure tree is a little thicker and it's, it's, it's southern yellow pine, yeah. any board on the flat, you know, with a good knot or two in it is not going to uh, necessarily... I mean, it's yellow pine. It's, I think it should be a, um, a matter for a town meeting to decide. That's the way I'm looking we at have it. To make I'm a, not we have to we make have a recommendation, and you, right. I think we and have I to let our feel, feelings know. Yeah. Well, I think right. town meeting has a right to decide whether or not they want to spend $1,516.70. I'm leaning a little bit against it, only because I don't know where it is. It doesn't seem to be every, uh, listening to people talk as a well-known place. Um, if, if everybody starts bringing in projects of something, you know, there's so many different little projects out there. If it was a well-known, you know, walkway, a path or something, we could well, help. But I don't, I don't, I mean, this is just someone's so backyard. Know. It's not a backyard. I don't know. This is, this is when you come in off of Stockbridge, there's a uh, little across from the where the station. pump station is, yeah. there's a driveway that goes in there. There's a road that road goes road. down there, it has a cul-de-sac, <coughs> and you can turn around and come out. Right. And now, what he wants to do, <coughs> then there used to be a logging road that would go to the old bridge, and the old bridge... That's your own there. So, and, but no one goes there anymore because when they re elevated the dam in 1948, uh, it kind of flooded that area. So occasionally some person will put maybe a few pieces of wood so he can fish right there. But uh, when you go to that place, there's nothing to see. I mean, yeah. there's but nobody goes that, there. That's well, a matter of opinion. Yeah, because part of the, the beauty of that area is the wildlife that's in there. Well, and you have you this whole see. area, Paulette. This is not extending it probably 25, 30 yards. No, Maybe a little bit more. Farther than that. But I think, to Andy's point, 
what he's talking about is you've got a two by whatever mm -hmm. that's on the flat like this. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I think he was talking about eight feet apart. Eight, eight foot sections. Okay, mm -hmm. so when you get in the middle of that, it's gonna sink down because it's not strong enough to hold no matter what. They should have cross beams on there. Well, so now he's gonna have to put something every mm -hmm. four feet instead of every eight feet. Right, and then the spacing on the top is what's the important part when you're putting something in a wetland. Okay, so then that's one concern I have. The second concern is it two, it's, he's talking about two by 12s, which are 11 and a quarter inches wide. Right. Mm -hmm. So we got people walking on that. So if, if we, got, we can't have two way traffic on that because it's not wide right. enough. That's mm -hmm. right. Okay. And then if it's however high up it is, well, who's responsible, who's liable if somebody falls off of it? Probably the same people responsible if somebody falls now. Right. Which is the, the landowner? Yeah. Okay, and, and the land, do we know who the landowner is? Yeah, I think it's right. the friends. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the friends, okay. And it used to be Kestrel. Okay. How much, what are the boundaries in that area of Kestrel? Does anybody have a map? It's not Kestrel, it's a friend. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I know there's a field, the field is to the, to the right of the road. But I don't know where the land is exactly. He's just talking about the little sort of why. I I bet Kestrel doesn't own some of that land. No, that we, we don't know that. We have to assume that they're telling us the truth in that regard. Um, well, it's not Kestrel anyway. Well, the friends, the friends. Okay, the friends. Friends. Yeah. Because they transfer the property. Is that an address? It's in here, right? Mm -hmm. no, the road is right. Well, the road, that's Jerome's house. Yeah, Jerome. The road. Okay, so here, here's the, the turnabout, like right, right here, so you can go back Which out again. The is and the, and the bridge is. Well, yeah, I've been down there. The bridge is right in here. Right in here. So this, this no. is owned by. I think it was my family. Never shut up. So that's Well, I go there all the time, and it's pretty nice. I don't know. Except at dusk when it's like you know, mosquito factory. Yeah. That's where Roland died. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, well. I love how it's green. Uh, All right. Well, any, uh, <laughs> no any, uh, any, I think you're talking about. Uh, any further comments? Thank you. The unknown property here uh, behind right. the right. church. Yeah. All the way this down is, to the right. plant. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's two, two years ago he was yeah. telling me that he was pulling up. Uh, Here's the pump house. Big yeah. tractor tires and everything out of the pond to clean it up down there in that area. And there's uh, all kinds of. That's because his relatives threw the tires in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, do, so, should I call for a motion for this one? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Then we can discuss it further. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a, a, mo a motion to vote? Is there one? <laughs> to move it forward, I will make a motion to approve the $1,516.70 to the Friends of Lake Warner, funds coming from the CPA General Fund for um, construction of elevated walkway per the revised application and what was the date of that? I don't know what the, re uh, uh, the December, original application oh, was December 29th. I don't it know what the revised. I got the email, the revised email. All right, what was the original date? The original date was 12-29-18, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and the revision is dated. Be using for that. It's coming up. We've got to know how it's going to be. You know, it's right going to be. He had, he had pictures of it when he was here two, right. two weeks ago. Oh. Yeah. Which is what they use in a lot of areas, anyways. As long as the the hazard <coughs> comes from more of the pressure treated, it's not the they have new materials they use, and it's more of the cutting, the actual cutting. Eye at the site I got one that bad causes more damage than the material oh, sitting there. Yeah. yeah, it's no longer the chromium arsenic. Chromium, yeah. chromium, yeah. chromium and arsenic. Yeah. But. Okay, so you made a motion. I made a I'll motion. I'll second it. And Edwin second, so we can discuss it. <laughs> right. 
So now, <laughs> do, now we know what, do we know when the, the revision uh, date is? Yes. I, I don't see, I, I, well, when I look the at the top, the, it still says December 29th. What's the date of the email? The date the of the revision? email, I could do that. The date of the email that came to us is uh, 117. Okay, who's that? <coughs> So now mm -hmm. I have another safety concern. Typically a walkway, a boardwalk, your, your boards go perpendicular to the way you're walking. This is going to be in line with the way you're walking. Any pressure treated that's relatively new and wet is slippery. And if it gets icy, I mean granted it's buyer beware, I understand walker beware, but it's still gonna be dangerous. The, the way that's <coughs> suggested to be built. Then we should just take up all the other little pathways and walkways that are all over Lake Warner, or Mount Warner. And no, it's there. No, no, no. That's you're there's comparing all, apples and oranges. No, I mean, because you, you're, you're talking about there's all kinds of, including on Conservation Commission she's, land, she's right. things that are. Um, just boards go across so someone can get across it. Mm -hmm. It's not meant as a, you know, a major highway. It's more of something that's installed so it's high enough so that it doesn't end up being sitting in water constantly. You have some air gap underneath. The snowmobile bridges are bridges. They have, and they said these were ordered by the Conservation Commission the way they have to build them with handrails and high up above the water so the water could go underneath. Mm -hmm. And there was some elaborate plans presented to me because it was abutting my land down there. The, there was no plans here. It shows a couple of planks and we don't even know if they, they own the land. That, that's a okay, question but of mine. Those, those are questions that should have been brought up and we had Can this application know? It should have been brought up and anyone should have had the ability over the last two weeks to go out there and actually look at the location. I mean... Is, is the, uh, those other boards that you're talking about, were they installed by, uh, you know, using... Down there was a pallet. CPA there there was pallets. One pallet. Yes. Uh, I think she's talking, and is talking about the other oh. walkways that, that oh, Paulette's right. talking right. about. Right. And that was, I agree with Andy on that. That's were they put in with town, were they funded by the town? Mm -hmm. I walk up on Mount Warner, uh, the reservation property, two or three times a week, and there are indeed two bridges that go across little brooks that mm -hmm. are boards that run directly across, and mm -hmm. quite frankly, if it's wet, it's very mm -hmm. nerve-wracking. So it is not the optimum way to do it, it's certainly doable but it's not the optimal it's way the to do it in my amount opinion of damage and that was approved by the conservation mm -hmm. commission yeah, and I'm, I'm not disagreeing with any of that stuff Paula. it's just i'm just throwing stuff out there that's right. coming to mind and to your point about you know people we had two weeks to think about this that's why we didn't vote on it two weeks ago so that we could think about it and talk about it tonight mm -hmm. so um I, I think these are all legitimate concerns that, uh, 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 that any project in wetlands has to deal with. You know, it's uh, if you build a boardwalk, does that mean more people are going to come? <coughs> so there'll be more destruction. You know, is it the right kind of boardwalk? Is all these <coughs> questions I think are very, very legitimate, and you know, would be reasons to vote against it if you don't like it. And I think that's my property that's just going to be out. Uh, the property this was given to the friends, friends. of Warner. Yeah, friends I was trying to find Warner the address. Trust. Is it there is no real there address. Is. No, there is no real and address. The conservation it's a, it's property, it's property located at 15 Stockbridge <coughs> Street is what it says here. Street. Stockbridge Street? Yes. That's what it says here. Cool. You going to Google it up, Andy? Yeah. No, I, I, well, I tried to hit Mass Land Records to see who owned it, and it's there's I, not. I mean, I, no, that's, uh, that's just what it says. Yeah, they own it. I can see, I can see, I can see what looks like an archipelago or, <laughs> <laughs> or a peninsula. Um, Oops. Oops. I got, Sorry. No, I, I just got to look so, at it on the map. See. I think what we get into here, 
you know, Edwin said something about it's not our job to That's do north. to make a decision mm -hmm. one way or the other. It's up to town meeting, which is always the attitude we've had. Is it this is your place. funding mm -hmm. that is appropriate to use That's with CPA money? But then I've also heard that yeah. we we can yeah. the lake. Yeah. not recommend this Correct. if we decide mm -hmm. it's inappropriate. Or, or change it or do anything we want to. Or so, abstain. So yeah. we can, it's, it's, you know, we can yeah. do it with it, whatever we feel is appropriate. Okay, that's that's yeah. green is the, is the That's right. We can go up yeah. 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 and it, and then it dies right here. Fishing it doesn't go to fishing. town meeting, there's not a second chance. Walk out to the yeah. And that's why we're not an advisory committee. This is it. Uh -huh. I, if an advisory sure. committee says mm -hmm. no, you can do it anyway. It's just yeah. advice. Mm. But if we say no, that's yep. it. Right. It works with Adley. That's because I was very blatantly told face to face you guys are just an advisory committee. No, but, but, we're, but we're not. We're not. No. no. Yeah. There's a name for it, but I don't remember what it is. <laughs> okay, um, we've batted this one around pretty good. It's, so it's funny sometimes how the big projects kind of sail through and then the low dollar ones well, are the ones know. people go to the map. Right. <laughs> well, we passed, the school, no there. we passed the school budget and that's two thirds of our budget pretty much. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. Okay. No comment. I'm not going to say Well, I, I think to your point, Andy, that we should be, there are, there are several projects in town that kind of got voted and then after the fact everybody's thinking, well, we should have done this, we should have done that, and we, we didn't talk about it, and not we, meaning us, but the town collectively didn't discuss it enough to get a lot of issues out on the table that have come up after the fact, You're and then it's absolutely too hard to back right. out. The slaughterhouse, no, everybody thought that whole, whole land was going to go for Alexandra Dawson's kidney speech, uh, but then all of a sudden they put a the buses in there. Nobody knew that was going to be. So it was all public. That record. was all. That no, no, no. Yes, it was. In the, was in the town meeting, in the town meeting, there was a question that the whole property it is okay. all public. No, record. no, 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 no. The deal was that they had to sell off in order to make the money that the property owner wanted. We had to sell one lot. That was always public knowledge. That was discussed uh, ad infinitum at in the I Conservation Commission meeting. Can we get back? All right, let's vote. Let's vote. Uh, anyone else have anything they want to say about this? Or can we give anything original? Well, one other thing. I mean, are we having another meeting? And if there's additional questions that we want him to be here for because new issues have been raised, do you feel we need to bring this to another meeting and ask them to come in? Or give people enough time to go out there and look and see exactly where it's going to be installed? Yeah. I, he, had a, he had a choice. That's, he could have contacted. Andy has done something that it, we needed to done, needed to have needed to have been done a long time is make this committee more ex acceptable to the people. Even though it's electronically, and some of us are electronically uh, <laughs> challenged. Challenge, yes, but you've done an exquisite job of making sure that everybody knows what's going on, and so everybody knew that this meeting was coming up. I don't see why we have to. It, I can see having another meeting for doing <coughs> committee business. Committee right. business, mm -hmm. yeah. But, but we could do what you suggested. It, it, it was I mean, mentioned several times in that last meeting that we, you know, people mm -hmm. were encouraged to return for this meeting. Correct. Yeah. So we don't have that. I, I don't. I. He said he was coming. I don't know. Yeah. So things that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. Do you, All right. You want to read it to us one more time? Okay. Um, motion made for. Let's see. was um, for expenditure of $1,516.70 to the Friends of Lake Warner um, for construction of an elevated 
walkway and permitting with fees with the Conservation Commission. And do we want to do we want to put the original date of the project I and the the amended on? I have already got that in there. Okay, and the timeline. Mm -hmm. The elevated walkway, one plank. Yeah, it's it's not elevated. Elevated. Well, yeah. it's elevated because it's out of the wetland vegetation. So yeah. that's I thought, I semantics. Heard five or six inches. I would definitely encourage yeah. them to shorten the spans. Yes. Mm -hmm. But that's something Much. we need to. I don't that's, know. We can't do that tonight. No, we can't. But the it. Conservation Commission can. Right. Yeah. They could right. turn the whole thing down. And I, actually. No, we, did, we haven't voted on it yet. Right. right. It hasn't, hasn't come before be. us. The design can be refined yeah. there. The <laughs> money that is being requested, if it's approved, it's approved. And. From the general fund, right? right. Yeah, okay. DPA general fund. DPA general fund. And then the return date. Well, we can spend yep. all the general fund. I don't think this project will take two years. Yeah. No. <coughs> he said he'd replace it mm -hmm. in five years. Yeah. So he'll ask for more money then. Peter's a man of action. He likes to get stuff done. And Paulette, just so you understand where I'm coming from, mm -hmm. I don't believe I'm in favor of it, but I do believe that town meeting ought to be able to and that's fine yeah just speak of well that's about this it. is design my understanding that we are saying whether or not we feel it meets criteria to move forward to town meeting and if we are in favor or against we have the ability to speak at town meeting right and and mm -hmm. as I said before that's typically the stance we took was that we will if it meets criteria, we'll let town meeting decide, but I, I do believe we have the authority to squash it mm -hmm. here. We do. We do. Right. Right. Or to change it or to adapt it. But to the thing is, when you vote, you know, they are looking to think if you vote one way, they're saying that's your recommendation. It shows recommended. Right. So it'll show that, um, and the voters look to those boards as what are your recommendations. Well, they also, the voters of the town I have, they also look at what the vote was. If it's a vote of five to four, yeah. then that that would be... Then they have the ability to ask what, why that was. Right. And I would encourage people to speak up mm -hmm. if someone asks. And ultimately, if it's good for the, the wetlands, that's really what this is all about. Mm -hmm. It's not about making it con more convenient for people to walk. <coughs> it, it's True. to protect the wetlands. True. And there's some doubt, some conflict about whether building these kinds of things are good in the long run. So, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Do we want to add a caveat that it would have to receive permission from the Conservation Commission? prior and then once it receives that then they have the two years well they have two years from town meeting vote but pending approval of the conservation pending approval, pending of, the approval conserva of the conservation that should have been done first before they came here he didn't realize he needed to oh and, and that's <laughs> usually how people he won't get the money joe until right. it he and if he gets shot down at the Conservation Commission, then he can't exactly. get the money. Right. It's mm -hmm. similar to what the planning board does, you know, subject to approval of all, any and all other boards. Mm -hmm. So if you don't get it, if he doesn't get approval there, then he's not getting the money. Mm -hmm. He's got he's to show his little, little ticket. ticket that he got approved. <laughs> Okay, do we want a third reading, a third and final reading, or do you think really? we're ready? I'm no, I think we're good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then all in favor? No. Aye. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes, seven. Okay. And opposed? No, I'm, ab I'm abstaining. One more abstention. Any friends of Lake Water here? Do we have to abstain? No. no. I used to be on the board, but I was yeah. So what was the vote? So one, there was one abstention. I believe that was six, one. Six, six, two, two, one. Six. Yeah. Six to one. 
Six two one. Yes. Okay. Last one. The old maps. Yep. The historical commission is in favor. It's so moved. We we'll met last uh, week. Well, gets the money. <laughs> Second. Well, well, that's, Second. That, that's what I'm asking. <laughs> Would the historical commission like to bring it to the museum, or did you discuss that, or? And to tell you the truth, I went to the meeting, but some other committee was meeting in the town room, and I didn't know where the historical commission was. <laughs> where, where's the like, museum? Uh, it's the Williams yeah, Town Hadley Historical Museum. Society. No, the, uh, right. where, where the conservat conservancy is. Yeah. And it's something that you can bring it, and they'll look at it that day. Yep. Yep. Did they give you any idea how long it would take? Um, they didn't, but I, no, but it was like, I wouldn't have to leave it there. I'd, okay. I'd bring it, if it was me, Yeah. bring it, bring it back, uh -huh. same day, that kind of thing. And, and, they, and then they'd write a preservation plan, which was a suggestion about what to, what to do with them. Okay, well, if nobody else would do it, I would do that. Physically take it there? Yeah. Because that would save us a thousand dollars, right? Yeah. Yeah. So who is who's going to get the money? So, well, that's what I'm asking. Randy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean that's the historical commission for preservation. The town of the town of Hadley. Yeah. And it should be historical because. Okay. Know, so we're giving it to the historical commission. To expend the for preservation for a preservation plan for the old yeah. you mean they'll present it but Andy should present it since he knows what he can present it on behalf that's fine he but no be the funds the because we need an entity to receive the funds we need, yeah we, and we we're not going to cut a to check give. to him right. or to um. you <laughs> there you go <laughs> not again <laughs> Okay, so the what's the dollar amount, please? Because I don't know. Five hundred dollars. Okay. Oh, is that it possible to take photos of the way they are now, so we can show them at town meeting? Can, can this be money be run through the historical commission? That's what we it, were just talking about. They just about. did last week. I mean, but is that where the money could go? That's what we were saying. That's what we were talking about. Because so, it's to do a study. <clears throat> For or present a preservation plan. They actually have the money in their budget. If it doesn't work at town meeting. <laughs> well, the important thing is that it gets done. Gets done but yeah. if the plan gets done. And then there's money. You need a extra money. Extra money to do the action. I mean, the plan yeah. is going to go to, but then the actual preservation is going to need funds. Right. And, right. and you can't do that. Or then they could, they've got money. And they if they have money, I don't know how much. Well, yeah. Historical I think has a ten thousand. Ton of money here. Right. So. Right. Oh, we'll we'll come back a second yes. time. And so that oh, five hundred dollars yes. is coming out of the historical set aside. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So what are we calling these historical maps or? Yes, yeah. uh, 1740s maps. Although, who knows if that's when they're The deerskin maps. Yeah. The quote unquote. The last of the maps. Mohegans. <laughs> sure that's deerskin. It's, it's in plastic, even there's no way to tell. 1740s plastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Poor oxen. And one with the same caveats as timeline. Right. So, uh, preservation plan for the 1740 deerskin historical maps out of the historical funds to be expended within two years or returned to the historical. Set aside, not the historical right. commission. And the money is to be presented or to the historical commissioners. Yeah. Well, it's really who who gets the bill, right? And right. the museum sends it to the it should historical, be the historical commission. commission. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Not the society. historical no. committee no. Yes. commission. Commission. Right. Okay. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure of that. Yeah. Um, you you thought about maybe 
displaying them at the new library. Um, that was one. That was one thought. Mm -hmm. right, of what to do with them once they're preserved. I think we have to wait for the plan to right. see if that's well, going to be an allowable right. use. Well, absolutely. And yes. mm -hmm. what type of, if it's going to be under glass, what type of glass, what type of preservation, right. 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 Et cetera, And there is a company around here that does that kind of stuff. Yeah. So. so once we get them assessed, then there could be another request for funds, correct? Yeah, definitely. Right. They, okay. they may, but they may have funds that they can right. leverage yeah, to set that. <laughs> but that's I mean, if you don't spend it by I know it goes back it goes back so you know the, com the commission can put up twenty percent and CPA can put yeah up that's a, that's a good idea that's yeah. how we do it there's yeah. the historical society was what I was thinking that I don't know quite no quite society and commission oh. are two different entities I know they are but it's true. they're not a but we've given things to we've given them things to them before. Right. Entity, right? Correct. Correct. Yeah, they're private. All right. We've okay, you read it to us. Really? Okay. Um, motion was made to give uh, for the historical commission five hundred dollars for the preservation of historical maps. The preservation plan to develop preservation a preservation plan. plan. For a pre preservation plan for the 1740 deerskin maps um, out of the historical set aside funds, CPA. CPA. Right. And the commission can just appoint a person to go do it. It could be you right. or, yeah. or me or so anybody. Or okay. And two years to be expended within two years, return to the CPA historical set aside. Gotcha. Okay, priceless. So everything. Has that been motion, uh, moved in second? Yes. Right? Yeah. yeah. Lost track. Uh, who made the motion? Well, let's just do it again. Okay, I don't have the motion. So I, I move it. that okay. we do that. Or I'll <laughs> second it. So move. Okay. okay. That's an issue. All right. So is everything tonight coming out of the general fund except for this one? Yes. Apparently, yes. Whoa. Right. There's a lot of money in the general fund. Thank uh. you. Yeah. More than enough for all mm -hmm. this stuff. Um, we have a motion and a second. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. All right, that completes the uh, spending portion of tonight's meeting. Um, there are some other things that we could talk about. Um, it's always good to discuss changes in the committee, how things are going, things you like, things you don't like. Um, there are some clawbacks I'd like to discuss. Um, there's the CPA plan that we paid so much money for and never approved, uh, which we have to do. Um, what else? Um, uh, does everybody know how long they are appointed for and what their ending and starting dates are? No, oh, I could find out about that. Yeah, I did have. I, I think I started a list, but and I wasn't we, sure. We may want to have um, the town website updated yes. because many people who are listed there are right. not on. <laughs> um, that is my responsibility, and I am. I have the code. <laughs> so I just have to do it. Okay. Andy and I watched the briefcase. And tried to get the, <laughs> the <laughs> briefing <laughs> on that, how to work the website. Right, that was right. quite it, interesting. It the new show, website. Uh, CPA Hadley is the is it Hadley CPA the, as the email address. Right? It, it's, it's probably a little wrong, but mm -hmm. yeah. anyway, I should be able to fix it without a problem. It's like three. Um, of it's just four that I've been busy doing all this stuff. Listed, yeah. So um, Andy, regarding the point, the. Uh, CPA guidelines that Larry Smith was working on, yeah. we never did finalize them, and there were some, I know you had some questions. and There are a number of changes. Yes, that. and mm -hmm. uh, we should finish it up. Yeah. Who, who's, yeah. who's the, has taken over for Larry? As far as I know, they're done with us. We paid them. Oh. And we paid them. Yeah, we have the digital, 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 yeah, digital, digital, digital version of it, and we can make any changes we want. And we I never did. Okay. Can, can you, you, you reset that to everybody, I could, I, Andy? I could call them. We could pay them more. 
they could no, come no, from no, no, no. Can you resend it the latest, yeah. greatest version to everybody? Yeah. Then we yeah. should maybe That's study the final it. Draft. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And um, what I would encourage you to do is to just read the section that okay. pertains to the committee that you're on. I mean, of course, you can read it the whole thing if you want. Yeah. But read your section and come back with any changes and just approve it. You know, because we're supposed to update it every year. You know, so we can make the changes whenever we want. And we're also not necessarily bound by what it says. So if it says something. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Why do you have a plan if you're not going to follow? Because it? it's in the law. Right, right. We can, we can amend it any time. Okay. That's what I mean to say. <laughs> So if it says, um, I like the other way better. <laughs> like if it says, uh, Park and Rec doesn't have any programming, which is kind of what it says. You just take take it out. <laughs> you know. The CPA or law if it has, if it has, a, right? The name of the wrong town. You know. Oh, he did, yeah. didn't he? A couple, he? couple times. times. Yeah. Well. well yes. Yeah, so cut and paste. <laughs> what do you What do you get for fifteen thousand dollars? <laughs> Right. <laughs> I, I, learned, right. I learned today that we're all supposed to do conflict of interest training training, training. every two years. Yep. Yep. Yes. 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 So, yep. <laughs> yep. So we should do that. And um, what was the thing that we had to talk about? So do we want to have a meeting in a few weeks? Yes. Do we want to do we a meeting? We need something. With? Yes. For what? For to do whatever. To, 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 to do the housekeeping. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, our housekeeping articles, the committee meeting. Yeah, I, about the committee. Personally, I believe very strongly that we should not meet every month, or even every other month. You're all on m multiple committees, and I think that's enough. But a third I, meeting once in a while, I think, would be important. May I suggest then the April time frame in preparation for May town meeting? Okay. So I, I propose doing it sooner rather than later because we're all in meeting mode right now. And what's meeting mode? <laughs> you know, this is two in a row. Some, right. some of us actually have all, all kinds of meetings. Yeah. Some people work <laughs> all year round. <laughs> we do. We do. <laughs> you wouldn't know about that. I know about that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we, we have one meeting row, <laughs> one sooner. How do, how do people, what do people think? Well, if you get the latest and greatest digital format of the yeah. plan yeah. out to us, then I don't think two weeks is going to be necessarily enough time to review and right. So no, we've had this it is what July. January twenty whatever. Eight. Really say March like twenty eighth. End of February, February, beginning of March. Something like that in a month. March. Okay. What's a what's a month from now? February twenty eighth. <laughs> February twenty eighth. That's no, the last day of February. First is Six. Yeah. Yeah, See how the weather is. Oh, look at me. Anybody got one of those fancy phones? Let's yeah, I got one of those fancy phones. Yeah, seven, seven, fancy. You don't know how to work it. <laughs> so, and then, so it's 18, <laughs> 25th. Yeah. That's Monday? For Monday, yeah. It's 18, 25. Yep. So then the next meeting Four. is when? There's that computer right there. March 4th. February 25th, we said? I don't trust that one. Mine. Is it here? Uh, here. It's just a matter of adding seven. What's the date? Two twenty-five. February twenty-fifth. Twenty-eight. Wait, twenty-eight. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Twenty. Yeah. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay. I'll I'll send out a reminder. Yes, if I Thank remember. you. If you remember. With, with the digital copy. <laughs> with uh, hopefully I'll do that before. Okay. Yes, I want to get the digital digital copy right away. <laughs> um. Let's see. I want to thank Amy for representing us so ably for the Finance Committee and in front of the Select Board. Um, hopefully, the Select Board will tell me when they're discussing their proposals and I can go. Oh. So it doesn't fold you. Oh, when I. To do sorry. anything. <laughs> but, uh, no, I watched you and you just did, you know, they said, well, it was this stuff and you explained it all. So that's good. Um, anything else? Did you want to go over the minutes from the last meeting? Yes, yes, I did. Uh, I don't have the final version here, so. Okay, so we don't want to do that. All right. No. Mm -hmm. um, oh, last, yes. Last two meetings. Uh, okay. Yep. I, spoke <coughs> I spoke to David and people at Town Hall about the possibility of us hiring a secretary. And they suggested that we use someone who already works for the town on a part time basis. 
uh, so long as they don't go over 20 hours a week, so they have, so they get insurance. And I figured it would be like 12 hours a year, so something <laughs> like that. Probably might, might be more than that. I think because so. It takes a while to do once you do draft minutes okay. to do the final, and then they would have to give you the minutes to review, or okay. one of us draft minutes to go through, and then plus attend the meetings. Okay, so well, I thought they were going to work on the backlog of and uh, applications. Well, well, that's if you can figure out this filing system, it should be okay. Well, so the hour thing is no big deal. You just work it out so that right. it doesn't go over twenty, whatever right. it is. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Um, they, yeah. su they suggested that I write up a uh, <coughs> description, a job description. So maybe I'll do that and I'll send that out what, for the 25th. Just curious, are you looking for more voluminous notes, what everybody says? Or you don't have to do that. Okay. Television is there. All you have to do is the topics, the vote, that's it. Are we creating a job that is not needed? These 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 applications need to be. These are town records. Okay. They need to. Does be the secretary do that, or yes. does the applicant do that? Where are they? Who get, that, they give yeah. them to us? Right they now, are they're stored in property. garages. Yes, oh. they're stored in the file cabinets that are were found alongside right. the road. No, no, actually, just three. Are we looking for something? No, the secretary to does will won't okay. have control of those. Once, yes, they will, because but where it, is, well, that's that's the issue that we need to have. Well, now we're we not talking have, about a secretary. We're talking about some kind of administrative assistant. Uh, what, yeah, what are we looking well, for them to the same, do? Are they we looking for them to Joe, attend? Same difference these days. Or, Pardon? Same or, difference I, these days. I, I secretary most, versus mostly help with the minutes. Right, but I, I, if there are applications, they need to be like at town hall where someone, if they wanted to come in and say, can I look at that application? They shouldn't be running to your house to look at the application. It should be someone in town hall. How often should be is known that as, I don't, we don't know okay. because. No, I, I, so I, I, I just think it's a, you're, it's a big mistake to have any type of, you're, you're asking for this, then this committee is gonna ask for it. Why can't Park and Rec have one? Why can't Finance Committee have one? Why can't Planning one? And you know, there's so many, every committee is gonna want one. And, and it just seems like it's, it, and if you wanna put the applications on, that's where the website's supposed to be. It's supposed to be able to take that application and it's supposed to be sitting so on the website. So who's gonna, who's gonna scan it and put it on the website? Well, let's. Well, once, once the website is up, if you, if someone from but here can't do it, maybe right. Jennifer. So let's, let's, let's discuss this me. next right. time. Next time, because right. we all want to go home. Right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Um, we'll be adjourned then. Hang on one second. No, you said you were going to come up with a job description. I, I, I could. All right. Why don't or, you? Or we could if wait. you have time, no. If you have yeah. time, do that. Okay. That'll be the basis for our discussion. Okay. Okay. Then we'll have yeah. something that we can yeah. write on. Do it. A throw things at each other with. Like Amherst. Okay. All right. They have clerks right. for and just just email me the if there's a topic that you'd like to talk about, you know, at the, at the general meeting. Well, just to let you know, you have a kindred spirit on the planning board. Johnny Mitchkowski wants more voluminous meetings as well. I mean, the minutes of the meeting. Well, so. well agreeing with Mr. Mitchkowski always committee. makes me worry. I know. Uh, Throw the bait out there. Case, right. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Yes. So moved. Second. We have already right. motion Aye. second. All okay. in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. You're doing a dang good job.